story. Mayor Adams is answering questions about the extended federal investigation surrounding his campaign and contacts with foreign governments. Derek Waller is live outside City Hall with more on what the mayor is saying. Derek. Cindy, good afternoon to you. Mayor Adams holding that press conference as we speak inside City Hall. Marsha Kramer is inside and she's been asking him some questions about this apparently expanded uh, federal investigation into the mayor's 2021 campaign. Now, we previously told you that uh, uh, they were investigating his ties to Turkey, but now sources close to this investigation tell Kramer uh, that they're also looking into his ties into several other foreign governments. Those countries include Israel, China, Qatar, South Korea, and Uzbekistan. The entire scope of the investigation is unclear, but it does reportedly include an allegation the Adams campaign got illegal donations in exchange for pressuring the FDNY to sign off on a new Turkish consulate on Manhattan's east side, despite fire safety concerns. The New York Times reporting Adams called then FDNY Commissioner Daniel Nigro personally before he was even sworn in as mayor and that his ties to the Turkish consulate go back years, including paying for part of his 2015 trip to Turkey when he was Brooklyn Borough President, according to a public filing. Last November, the feds raided the homes of his chief fundraiser, Brianna Suggs, and in separate investigations, the feds also raided the homes of several other Adams administration officials, including the former police commissioner who resigned about two weeks ago. The mayor's chief counsel also handed in her resignation. Here's part of what Mayor Adams had to say moments ago. Eight, nine, ten months ago, um, when this investigation first came to light, look at how the city continued to progress. We didn't stand still. We didn't stop. We continue to produce housing. We continue to bring down crime. We continue to progress, and we're going to continue to do that. Uh, that is what I must do. I'm going to fight for New Yorkers. I've always done that. I'm not going to stop doing that. And, you know, no matter what comes in the midst of that, I'm going to continue to fight for the people of this city. And that's what I've done as a cop, and that's what I'm going to do as a mayor. Marsha also asked him moments ago about all of these resignations and how the city is going to attract top talent, giving, given all the turmoil he'll hear. Uh, he actually uh, brushed off those criticisms, said they've got a deep reservoir of talent and that people come and go. Also, when asked how does he feel about all this, he said people are going to have to wait for his book to come out to find out. Reporting live.